Right guys, <clears throat> I'm on my way to a job to uh, try and gain access to a cupboard that's got a night latch on it, but the snib has dropped. Could this be the first time to use Gav's snib mouse? Um, although another locksmith went there yesterday and he wasn't able to, to gain access, so don't know what we're gonna find when we get there. But yeah, it's gonna have a look. Gav snib mouse might be coming out of the box. That little beast, absolutely through through this. Literally within about a minute. So, hopefully, I'm just in the corn booth, so. There's a locksmith come out yesterday. He managed to get this far, to be fair, I don't even know he's managed that. But he's managed to get that security escutcheon off. Um, yeah, but couldn't get, couldn't actually get the door open. Good morning guys, um, well, good evening when you see this. Uh, I'm just on my way to uh, a friend of mine um, that I was training with at, with at Spartan, um, Laurie, uh, a good friend of mine. He's lost the keys to uh, a door. He's had loads and loads of building work done. Um, yeah, and they've lost the keys to a door that's uh, it's to a, a storage area. From his garden and um, he's got a one star ABS on there um, and I've got a feeling it's going to be a pig but I'm under no pressure uh, as you guys know I don't like to do destructive entry so we'll do what we can to even in this situation where I can just go I can literally just get this drill out straight away because we're changing the cylinder um, yeah you know I'll do what I can to try and get it open non-destructively and uh, see what we can do. But I've got options. I've got the Salva, the Salva tool that I haven't used yet. Uh, sorry, the Magi Bear. Um, obviously, my die grinder. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we go. All right, guys. We're just going to gain entry to this ABS one star. Uh, it's a friend of mine, Laurie, who's lost the keys. Right. We tried the uh, EPG. That didn't work. We tried the bump keys, that didn't work. So we're gonna give the old Magi Bow a go. It's the first time I've used this, so yeah, hopefully this will sort me out. Right. That little beast absolutely threw through this. Literally within about a minute. So hopefully, I'll just send the corn move, so hopefully. We've got an open. Like I say, wouldn't touch it. Wouldn't touch it. Bosh. There we go, guys. That literally flew through that one star ABS. Like I say, the uh, bump keys wouldn't touch it, nor would my the, uh, EPG. But I fitted a Versa for the time being, and we're going to order. Um, we're going to order a, a one star or a three star to um, to replace the Versa, but yeah, it's all good. That little bad boy, if you haven't got one, Magi Burr from Salba, such a great thing to have in the tool bag. I struggled here for, for a while, hoping, I mean, you know, you know me guys, I like to try and, especially when there's no pressure, I like to try and uh, pick the lock if I can. Don't like using destructive methods, but sometimes needs must, and yeah, it's getting a bit too much. <laughs> but that, honestly, I can't I can't praise that enough. And with this Dremel, it seems to be perfect. So yeah, if you haven't got one, Salba Magi Bear, grab yourself one. So ABS one stars are pretty tough, aren't they? Good little cylinders. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I was always going to give it a go with the um, EPG and, and bumping because I don't like drilling. But do you know what? What a piece of kit that Salber is. The uh, the Mag Magi Burr. Unreal. I mean, I spent probably 45 minutes 
uh, trying to get that cylinder open with the uh, EPG and the um, and the, and, and bumping wouldn't have it. Won't even going into a full set or anti pick or anything like that. So um, yeah, got that got the Magi Burr out on the Dremel and that was open in, a, in probably about a minute and that's the first time I've ever used it. So um, yeah, well worth having that in your, in your tool bag if you don't. Right guys, <clears throat> I'm on my way to a job to uh, try and gain access to a cupboard that's got a night latch on it, but the snib has dropped. Could this be the first time to use Gav's snib mouse? Um, Although another locksmith went there yesterday and he wasn't able to, to gain access, so don't know what we're gonna find when we get there. But yeah, let's go and have a look. Gav Snib Mouse might be coming out the box. There'll be no Snib Mouse being used today. So it's a British standard night that's just failed. British standard era. So there's a locksmith come out yesterday. He managed to get this far, to be fair, I don't even know he's managed that. But he's managed to get that. Security is scratching off. Um, yeah, but couldn't get, couldn't actually get the door open. So. All right, there's just nothing at the back there. So I'm gonna either, I'm wondering if where it's all been mangled up in there, whether a mic will work now, because um, the anti-slip function might be disabled, I don't know. So I'm gonna try that, and if not, I'm gonna try and air wedge it. And, Ping it open that way. All right, next attempt, what I might, do, what I might do is try and prise the door off or away from the frame enough so that the anti-slip snib isn't catching and then try and slip it. But uh, yeah, if not, put the reinforcements out. We have it open. Let's have a look and see what it's done. Ooh. Yep, bit of a mess. Oh, actually broke the lock. Well, that's better than breaking the uh, breaking the door. Right, we've got a plan, guys. I've been everywhere trying to get a forty millimeter British Standard night latch, and I can't. There's nowhere. A lot of because it's Saturday afternoon. There's a lot of places shut. And other places you haven't got any stock. So we're gonna do a temporary fix. Gonna put a, a pair rose on there like that. With a ring pull on it as well. So I'm gonna file the little, see the little nub in there? It digs into the door. I'll file that down so it sits flush on the repair rose. And then we're just gonna fit a standard night latch for the minute. Uh, and then I'm gonna order the 40 mil ERA British standard night latch and come back and fit that next week. Temporary night latch on there until next week I'll get the uh, ERA one. And there we go from the outside. Like I say, just a temporary fix. And the guys asked if I can have a quick look at this combination lock. It's sticking. It's not a. Uh, yeah, he said it's, it's quite bad, so we'll have a quick look. Right, that's it for this one, guys. Just a little, uh, just a little one. Um, as always, uh, please, please subscribe to the channel. As you know, I've got a goal to get to a thousand by the first of May. Um, I'd really love to do that, uh, and and we'll do a giveaway. Um, and if you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Any nice comments down there? And like I say, Salba Majiba. I'll put the link. I'll put the link below to uh, to where you can get one from. But um, yeah, phenomenal. Thanks, guys.